friends here we are talking about basics of linux pipes and redirections see these two concepts are very very important to practice with the jq command and here linux pipes are useful to pass or provide one command output as an input to another command and this is the simple syntax so here command 1 pipeline command 2 the meaning for it is command 1 output we are passing as an input to command 2 let me explain this on command line suppose i am running ls hyphen lrt command and you are getting some output now from this output let's say i want to display only last column i want to filter that last column now to filter your data on your linux we have commands like cut and awk now here let me use awk command to get last column but here ls hyphen lrt command output i need as an input for my awk command so during that case simply you can run ls hyphen lrt pipeline awk command then simply write logic in your awk command that is dollar nf means last column yes you are getting it so that is the usage of pipeline see this pipeline concept we will use in our jq command while discussing with while working with filters and functions see there sometimes you may need to provide or pass one filter output as an input to another filter or one filter output you need to provide as an input for another function likewise so during that case we will use this pipeline concept fine the next concept is redirection see basically redirections are useful in two cases one is to create a file or second one is to read content from your file and to create a file this is the syntax command greater than some file name command double greater than some file name now here with these two commands with this syntax we are creating a file but there is a difference that is with single greater than we are going to create a new file suppose if file is already existing with this name then the content which is there in your existing file will be removed and new content will be stored into this but if you use double greater than and during this case suppose if file is not existing then this greater than double greater than symbol will create a new file but if it is existing then the data which is already there in your file will be there as it is and at the end the new data will be appended let me explain this on command line suppose i am getting some output for this ls command this output i want to store into a file let's say 1.txt then see the content yes the file is created with that content now what i am doing is i am running date command but this time just i am using single greater than and same file i am using now see that previously there is some data with ls output now you don't have that simply you have date output because while running this command we used only single greater than that means even this file is existing the data will be removed and new data will be appended new data will be added to this file now let's say i am running once again date command now this file is already existing with this content now what i am doing is date double greater than then 1.txt now see the content previously you are having this data but now on this file i use double greater than for this command that means the data whatever we have in this file that will be there as it is and new data will be appended at the end see that this is the new data that's it so that is the usage of greater than redirection symbol then less than redirection symbols so here in less than redirection symbols we have three syntaxes single less than double less than triple less than now here single less than symbol is used to provide a file as an input for a command double less than is used to provide directly data not a file and that is multiple lines then multiple lines of course you can also use a single line but there is no use to use single line basically we will use a multiple lines whenever if you follow this logic then triple less than triple less than is useful to provide your data it could be a single or multiple lines but that will be provided as a string for your command let me explain this on command line so that it is very easy to understand suppose let's say 
I have a file called array1.json. So in this file, just assume that I want to search for git. Then you can use grep command pipeline grep git. So with this command, this string we are searching in this file. So this command output we are providing as an input for this command with the help of pipeline. Now see the result. Yes, git is there in this. That's why you are getting that line. Fine. Now same command you can also rewrite in this way. Grep search for git in this file. That's it. This is also valid one. Now this syntax you can also rewrite using redirection symbols that to less than redirection in this way. Now here for this command it may be anything based on requirement you can take any command but for that command if you need a file then that file we can provide with this symbol less than this file. Now let me go with double less than symbol. So double less than symbol whenever if you use you have to start with some end of file symbol then enter write your lines let say first line second line with git third last line with git then end of file you have to close EOF now see the result yes so in this line we have git that's why you are getting that line then in this line also we have git you are getting that line using grep command now this information also we can rewrite with the help of triple less than symbols see that but whenever if you use triple less than symbols you have to start with single quotation then see that first line i am writing we can write any data second line with git third last line with git then close with that single quotation see the difference double less than EOF, triple less than single quotation. That's it. Now be clear, for your triple less than symbol, whenever if you are using triple less than symbol, during that case, let's say you want to provide command output as an input. Yes, we have an option for that. That is, this is a standard syntax whenever if you want to provide any command output as an input for your command using triple less than this is the syntax so inside this parenthesis you have to write any command let's say i'm writing ls anyway in my present location ls there is no git term that's why you're not getting any output for this now let me search for demo yes there is some demo.json we are fetching it not only that see suppose let me search for git cat array1.json so in this array1.json we have some git term but this triple less than is always whenever if you use this triple less than input must be a string so string means you have to read this file but this is a command so if you want to provide a command output as an input to your triple less than then you have to use this syntax that's what i am following here that's it fine now let me go with basics of jq command as of now you don't know about jq command but no problem see suppose i am taking echo some array then on this output simply i am applying the very simple filter called dot filter it won't do anything on your input excepting formatting see that now same thing you can redirect in this way echo see first of all this is a command right so if you want to provide command output as an input for your command so this is my command of course that is jq command command output if you want to provide as an input to your command then triple less than then quotations dollar parenthesis close with dollar quotations then inside that write your command now this is my command see the result or suppose i don't want to use this dollar if you don't want to use dollar then don't write command, just write string. See that? That's it. So these concepts are very, very useful in your 